I'm going to show you how to adjust this uh, little device here. Uh, this device has got uh, six functions. The first function is the time. So as soon as you power it up, uh, it shows you the time. Function two is how to adjust the time. So everything everything is done via switch one. So when you press switch one once, we're going to adjust the time. So here we go. Quick look. There you go. It's flashing. So we're going to adjust the time. Every time you press the S3 button, it adjusts the minutes. There you go. And S2 adjusts the hours. You cannot adjust the seconds, but it take uh, as soon as you go into the clock mode again, which is by pressing S1 for two seconds, you back on the clock. Next, we're going to adjust the alarm. The alarm is function three, which you go into by pressing the S1 switch twice quickly. So there you go. You, it's already set to something at the moment. So if you press S2, right, S2 advances the hours. So if you go past 23 hours, you get the upper bars only, which means there's no alarm. So there you go. So S2 is adjusting the hours. Let's set it to 8 o'clock. S3 adjusts the minutes. Let's set it to quarter past 8. Okay, so the alarm is set to quarter past 8. And we press S1 to Adjusting the countdown value. To adjust the countdown value, press S1 three times, then press S2 to advance the digits. The ones you are on last digit, you can adjust. So you can add another digit, etc. Yeah. So. What you need to do to start the timer off, which is set to two minutes, is press S2 to add more digits and then configure them. When you get past the last digit, so I'm going to press another S2, the countdown will start. There you go. It's coming down from two minutes. When the two minutes are up, it will be for three seconds. Go back to the clock, press S1 for two seconds, and we're back with the clock. The stopwatch function can be selected by pressing S1 four times. Pressing S2 will start the stopwatch, like that. Pressing S2 again pauses it. S2 again starts it. Stop it, and then to reset, you press S3. Okay, so you start. And you pause it, and then reset with S3. So back to the clock, press S1 two times. Setting the count function. To press this, to access the count function, press S1 five times. Okay, it starts at zero, so every time you press S2, it just adds one to the count. You can do this while you're counting cars, counting airplanes, or whatever you want to do. There's nothing to this, so just, just a counter. And it goes past. 19 goes to 20, and this goes up to 99, and then 100, and so on. 
that's it for the uh, current function so press S1 go back to the clock for two seconds